Dune Part 2, what a masterpiece. In both storytelling and visual scope, this is as big as it gets. This is why I love going to the movies. And this film has a truly stunning movie poster. Yeah, sure. Stunning movie poster. Excuse me? Movie posters are dead. What? They're dead, bro. Haven't you seen TikTok? It's all floating heads now. Okay, well, they've been making floating head posters since the 1930s. That's almost a hundred years. It's not like it's a new trend. Yeah, well, everyone thinks they suck now, so. I think they're still making wonderful movie posters. Why don't you start a channel about it? Look, have you seen the movie poster to Dune Part 2? Yeah, bro, I have. It's all floating heads. Who the f are even half these people? It's lame. Okay, well, yeah, this doesn't look great. But this is just one poster in the whole campaign. They make posters for everything now. 70 millimeter, IMAX, Dolby Cinema. You can't look at one poster design and say that the entire poster campaign is lame. Whatever, bro. I think the composition of this teaser poster is really powerful. Paul and Chani are somewhat small, with Chani looking directly at us, while Paul looks upward at both his Chris knife and the stars beyond Arrakis. He's posed in classic hero fashion, complete with a cape billowing behind him. The tagline reads, long live the fighters. It feels like we're on the precipice of something, something big. I was able to pick up one of these posters back in 2023 and mine still has that original November release date. This was before the film strike pushed the release date to March of 2024. The proportions are what makes this poster really unique. It's pretty standard in film advertising to take your stars and put them front, center, as big as you can. But here they took a more measured approach and as a result, it gives the poster a much grander sense of scale. Some of the other one sheets have Paul and Chani as the central focus and I would say that those posters are a lot less interesting overall. It feels like they have less to say and are communicating less of a story. And yes, I would say this floating head poster is the weakest of the bunch. Complete flooding the image with faces, most looking in different directions and lit from different sources. I've heard that these types of posters are contractually obligated by the stars to appear in the main one sheet, but if that's true, Christopher Walken needs to find a new agent, because he's nowhere to be found here. Guess what? I got a fever, and the only prescription is more floating head. I doubt anyone is hanging this floating head poster on their wall, but the teaser poster? For me, it strikes the perfect balance of intriguing composition, beautiful color palette, and dramatic characters. It just feels large, like epic things are about to happen, and they certainly do. I typically grade movie posters using my art score out of 10, but I feel like I've already summed this one up pretty nicely. I'm not even gonna bother asking my wife about it because I know she loves it. This is an easy eight or nine out of 10. It's been up in our light box since seeing the movie in the theater, which I've now gone on to see three times in three separate theaters, from the IMAX screening all the way down to a small town single screen, movie going at its finest. I'll watch it on my phone later. What? I'll watch it on my phone later, don't worry. I go I like smack this that when I watch right movies. Out of your hand. Go ahead, do it. Silence! <laughs> If you haven't already, I highly recommend going and checking out Dune Part 2 in your local theater. Go for the biggest screen that you can find. And if you're like me and you get put off by people at the theater on their phone or talking too much, see it on a Sunday morning matinee. It's great. Most of those types of people are still asleep, hungover, or watching football. Sometimes all three at once. Well, thanks for watching everyone. For this episode of Paper and Light, I'm going to be giving away this gorgeous vinyl soundtrack called the Dune Sketchbook by Hans Zimmer. Worth it for this cover alone. If you want to know how you can win this vinyl soundtrack, check out my Patreon. I hope I, or we, have earned your like and consider subscribing. I have a lot of amazing posters to show you in future episodes that you will not want to miss. Thanks everyone. I can't wait to show you more.